Welcome back to Back to Baskin. I'm Back to Baskin, and this is Shadow of the Colossus. Where is my horse? There's my horse. In this video, we will be going after Dirge, or Dirge, however you want to pronounce it. And, uh, this one can be a little difficult to find. Not too terrible, though. It's definitely one of the harder ones to find, though. I'll say I'll have to rely on my sword quite a bit. Apparently we're going this way. Sounds good to me. So all I really remember is uh, there's a certain, it's hard to describe, like a foresty kind of area we're trying to get to. And deep in that foresty area is a cave. Oop, oop. I do not want to do that. Oh. Maybe I'm wanting to go across this bridge again. Uh, deep in that forest area is a cave. And inside the cave is a giant sand pit. And uh, it's kind of like, imagine the Sarlacc dune pit without the Sarlacc. Or actually replace the Sarlacc with a giant sand snake that can move freely around rather than being stuck in one place like the Sarlacc. Which I would much prefer facing compared to that, the compared to Dirge, so. So we actually want to take a left here. I may actually be going the right way, look at that. It would be kind of crazy if I get this right on the first try. So yeah, don't don't be ashamed to re refer to your sword a lot, especially if this is your first playthrough. I mean, honestly, it's going to be your best friend when you're looking for Colossus. Colossi. Um, the interesting thing about Dirge is apparently, uh, it's stated on the wiki for Shadow of the Colossus. It's a really good read. I suggest reading it if you're a big fan of the game like I wasn't wanted to learn everything there was about the game, is Dirge is the only Colossus to outright stalk Wander. It will hunt you down and stalk you, and it never gives up. It just wants to kill you. And it, what's kind of creepy about it is it, it honestly looks like it has a smile on its face the whole time. Like, it's just kind of, it's very morbid about it. It's just like, I want to kill people. And maybe it's aware that, like, you're killing its brothers, even though from its location deep in a cave, it wouldn't be able to see the uh, its fallen brothers all over the land. So it makes you wonder why. Like, does it somehow like instinctively know its brothers are dead? Or perhaps it just wants to kill you for the purpose of killing you. So the only problem is I now have to remember where to go. I mean, obviously the sword's telling me where to go, but this definitely doesn't look super familiar uh, for this, for getting to this Colossus. But I could be entirely wrong. Like I said, I know, I'll know when I get there. Actually, it's probably back this way. I'll definitely know once I get there, like, like oh yeah, this is where I need to be. I'm just kind of hoping I am going the right way. Looks like we're entering an area with no sunlight. Yep. Okay, I'm actually feeling a little better. I think I'm actually going the right way. I definitely think I'm going the right way. I am definitely going the right way. Let's jump off of aggro here. Even though we're going to need her in this fight. You can always jump off of aggro. Walk to the short distance you need to. And then wait for aggro to come around. Take the more obvious path. This is a, sh a save shrine, by the way. I don't think I've ever shown this, but... Uh, really, you can go up to this and press X. Okay, not X. Now it's a uh, circle. And you can save. Sure, why not? Let's save. Uh, do we want to save? No. I'm not going to save, because in case this this file like bloops out or whatever, then I'll have to be out. I will be out of that. Where are you, Agro? Where are you? You know, we have to wait for our horse. You don't want to enter this horse. <laughs> you don't want to enter this horse. You don't want to enter this uh, Colossus battle without the horse. All right, maybe Agro's dead. Let's continue on without her. If she's alive. She'll catch up. You can't catch up, cause you're mustard. Now look, we get some animals. We get some bats. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are bats. 
I was going to say birds, and then I was like, no, those are bats, aren't they? Yeah, so you just kind of want to run around in this cave. Just keep following the path in the cave. Follow the bats. Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? You can hear the bats kind of like going, beep, beep, beep. So just follow the path in the cave and keep going. What was that? Was that aggro? No. I no idea where my horse went. Anyways, this is the giant sand pit where Dirge hangs out. And Dirge won't actually come out until you get to the center of the arena, so don't worry. If uh, you're here like I am and Agra is not following you. Okay, my horse really needs to appear now. My horse really needs to appear. Oh, where the hell did you come from? Come here, aggro. Are you ready for this aggro? Because I'm really not. Again, you want your bow equipped for the start of this fight. Because you're going to have to shoot it in the eye while steering your horse. The good news is, is aggro is actually semi-reliable in this battle. And will actually, uh, a lot of times, in a way, kind of steer herself while you're aiming. So you want to go in this light area. So that is Dirge, and I suggest keeping a lock on it at all times. So get, get your bow equipped. Oh, dude, really? And wait for that eye to appear. There we go. Good job, me. Right off the bat. And see that? It'll slam into the wall, which gives you time to climb onto its body. So quickly horse over to it. Equip your sword. Jump and grab on. It has two sigils. One is a huge fucking sigil right here. Look how huge this is. Take out that first sigil. And, uh... You probably don't have time. Nope. I was going to say, you probably don't have time to go after the second one. So, uh... Be careful, because Dirge is going to come back out in a minute. It doesn't give you a lot of time. Quickly get on your horse and get going. Again, if you're playing this for the first time, I would suggest watching out. Uh, Dirge with one hit can take out about 90% uh, of your health, maybe 95, with one hit. It's kind of overpowered as a Colossus. There we go. So again, just kind of meander around. Should hit the wall in a minute, right? There we go. Good job, Dirge. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, no, no. Aggro, 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 no. <laughs> Don't worry, it stays It stays there for long enough. You'll be able to have enough time to get over to it and climb on it. Alright, come on, let's go. Oh, climb up. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, God. Yeah, it's not very nice about letting you climb up here. Although I'm not doing very well at actually holding on and stuff, so. I mean, we should have enough time to do this. All right, come on, Dirge. And there you go. That's a lot more hectic than I than I uh, let it seem like it was. First time playing that, it's going to be kind of hectic and scary for you. He's a very intimidating colossus. And uh, like I said, he actively he actively stalks you. You know, he like snakes around and follows you the whole time. And there's not a lot of safe places to hide in the arena. If you need a safe place to hide, if this is your first playthrough, you get hit by him and you're practically dying, go into the giant center pillar in the middle of the room and stand on that. And it won't hit you as long as you're standing on the outskirts of that. And uh, you can do the crouch position thing and regain your your health. As long, like, There's no way to lose this fight unless you get hit twice in a row, which is entirely possible, so don't risk that. Yeah, sure, why not? 
So, wow, 10 defeated. I'm like really busting through this, aren't I? And that will be all for this episode of Shadow of the Colossus. Thank you for watching. I'm back to Baskin, and in the next episode we will take down the third in what I consider the trio of the most asinine annoying colossi. The first two being Bassaran and Dirge, the last two we fought. So it goes 9, 10, and 11, which are the most difficult in my opinion. So we'll see how I fare. I'll see you there. I didn't mean to rhyme, sorry. Bye.